Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here at the Beach Stand, where there's a lot more than just peaches. Let's check it out. Hi, come on through. You're great. Hi, how are you? Now here in the Beach Stand, you've got ice cream shop, the butcher shop, a restaurant, a place to get gas. Yeah. For many, many years, you were almost like the, the welcoming center yeah. to Fort Mill off of I-77. And it is such a landmark because people, you know, say, go to the peach stand, turn right, or go, yeah. you'll go by the peach stand, you'll go, you know, peach stand, such a landmark. I don't think I ever landmark. knew it was 21. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's the peach yeah. stand. Oh, it's I such a land, It's such a landmark. Yeah. Do you also find that people have questions about Fort Mill? Oh yeah. yeah, like they'll ask for restaurant um, suggestions or anywhere to go if it's nice outside to like walk around and stuff. So yeah, yeah. so it's almost like this welcoming center. For yeah, Fort and we get a lot of people who will travel and they'll stop and we get to hear their stories about where they're coming from and like where they're going and stuff. So it's really cool that a lot of people stop here. Tell me a little bit about, obviously there's so much more here than just peaches. Right. right. Yeah, the, the, the peach stand, you know, uh, people think Exxon gas is first thing. You know, if, you, right. if you're not from around here and they stop and see that, and then they come in and they go, they're just overwhelmed because of the butcher shop, the ice cream, the produce, the bakery, the restaurant. I mean, it's all in just one little niche. And so uh, the store does have a lot to offer. What what brings you out to the beach stand today? Um, see if they had some cookies. Some cookies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how about you? What's your favorite thing about the beach stand? <laughs> Um, the cookies? The cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting fresh eggs. <laughs> now tell me, what, what we hear a lot about the fresh eggs. Why are they so much better than just what you they can buy They just have the really store? yellow oak yolks and yeah. they're, really, they're really pretty. Do you come once a week? Yes, I do. And really, you were a trendsetter. Now local is a buzzword. Buy local, yeah. support local. You've always had that vision here. Where does that mindset, where does that come from? Well, it comes from, you know, the old peach stand being here and, and you know, the, the years ago peaches and all. And, and so everybody's just used to the local peaches yeah. and the local stuff. So you just kind of pick up from that and now bring local fruits and vegetables in. So that's that's where all this was began. the place to come. Now, this, this building it. that we're standing yeah. in, how, how long has it been here? Since I think 83. 83. 83. But the peach stand has been actually the Since, peach stand a lot longer right. than that. Right. It's uh, the old building across the street actually set here for people okay. who are not familiar with the area. Uh, built in the 30s and was operated up, up until the 80s uh, right here on this property. And they didn't want to get rid of it, so they moved it across the street <laughs> and and built what. The, and that's the reason this is called the new peach stand. The new peach stand. Because the original peach stand is still in operation in the summer across the street. Now, as it relates to local items, do you? How do you find so many unique things? Well, Sherry does a great job at that. I think we have like over 140 local vendors that supply stuff to the store. Uh, and when we when we say local, it's within it's within a hundred miles. So that's that's kind of what we're calling local. But uh, from from the uh, beef in the in the, in the butcher shop to the uh, stone ground grits over there, we try as best we can to stay local because local means it's fresh. Al the butcher, that's the man, me. the myth, the legend. <laughs> This is like your deal in yes, the beach stand. Yes, it is. And it's a custom butcher shop, which is really hard to find nowadays. Right. How would you describe this butcher shop? Okay, uh, we run this butcher shop like an old time uh, butcher shop, the yeah. way it was done years ago. Customer service is top priority. Plus all our cuts, uh, uh, custom cut, and uh, we could do custom cuts if you want them thicker or thinner. We carry the best meat there is it's a uh, certified black angus borderline prime choice we also carry a local grass-fed beef all our chickens are all natural from a local farmer turkeys we get for the holidays also okay. from a local farmer everything is nice and fresh all our sausage is made on the premises no preservatives no additives no fillers all natural hog casing and uh, the seasonings are all natural what do you love about the peach stand? Oh, mostly the fresh fruit that yes. I can get here when it's in season. And I do love their meats. Their meats yes. are great. They have organic and grass-fed. Oh, wow. So you're very healthy. Yes. We what are you to buying today? Uh, we're actually buying bones. I'm going to make bone broth. When someone comes in and they really don't know what type of 
cut is best for mm. grilling or marinating, you and your staff provide uh, knowledge right. and, and experience and suggestions. That's right, that's right. That's what we uh, specialize on customer service. Yeah. If they don't know what they want, we help them with it. We give them cooking directions, we, we guide them towards the right cuts of meat mm -hmm. that they need for their grilling. We find out how many people they're going to be serving, we help them out with that. Wow. We do a lot of specialty things that the supermarkets don't do. Yeah. So did you guys walk over here? We've just walked about five miles. About five miles. Yeah. yeah. From what point to what point? Well, we live in Baxter, but we um, had our oil change down the road, and so we walked all the way up and back, and now we stopped at the peach stand. Now that yeah. is living. Yeah. That's Very good. that experience. Yeah. What do you enjoy getting at the peach stand? Well, like with her, it's the, the fresh fruit. In, yes. in the, the meats and they have really good fish here too. Just everything's fresh. So many people have moved to Fort Mill in our area. Yeah. What do they, what is their reaction when they walk in and they see okay. a butcher shop that reminds them of home? Well that's exactly what's going on here. We got a lot of people from the north moving down here and I run this like an old-fashioned Italian market from the north and they just go crazy and they say, I like coming in here because I feel like I'm at home. They're gonna kiss yeah. both cheeks. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the, the overall owner of the peach stand? Who owns it? Well, it's the Springs Company. The Springs Company. Which is basically Miss Close and her family. Basically, yes. that's the Springs Company. Yes. And the Springs Company owns the peach stand, the farm, of course the Greenway, and a lot of other entities around there. And you know, yeah. again, it goes back to it, it's part of the history yeah. of Fort Mill and how Fort Mill, came, you know, became what it is today. Yeah. It's really cool to see the, tra the tradition continuing. And you're actually a Fort Mill native. Yeah, yeah. Grew up here in Fort Mill, went yeah. to Fort Mill High School, yeah. graduated with Patty in 1982. So, oh yeah, <laughs> shall we say it? That's uh, right. Wrecking crew, crew of 82. 82. There you go. <laughs> we just gave our age away. That's not cool. So right now we're in strawberry season. So what? What's that like? Very, very crazy, but it's a lot of fun. Um, we're all like family here, so it makes it a lot easier and less stressful to work here. Um, but it's crazy, like how quickly the strawberries sell out and everything. But it's, it's like cool. the truck comes in and, and they, they sell out. The yeah, yeah. People wow. are like picking them up as we're putting them out on the table. Wow. Uh, strawberries. Now we have our Fort Mill Strawberry Festival. Does that put pressure on you to produce yeah. those fantastic strawberries? Yeah, it does because we, you know, even though we plan and prepare, we're dealing with weather. How many acres of strawberries do you plant? Uh, we have 23. Between the stores and the festival, we'll take between uh, 1,000 and 1,200 gallons. And but strawberries will be in season for? Till probably around the 1st of June. It just depends awesome. on the weather because the weather is what kind of takes takes control of the strawberry yes. plant and shuts it down. But uh, yeah, What about we're, peaches? Uh, peaches, the cold weather, we probably lost about 80% of our peaches. Wow. And, uh, but we're going to have some peaches. So when, Didn't get any them all. idea when they might start probably middle of June, showing up? Probably middle of June. Middle of June. Yeah, probably middle of June. Awesome. And then that'll run all the way through August. I understand that like single scoop ice cream is the number one seller mm -hmm. at the peach stand. Yes. What flavor? Probably peach. Peach? Peach, yes. Of course. Mm -hmm. So yeah. where do you see the peach stand, you know, in the future? Well, we just keep, we're amazed at how we've, we've kept up and, and kind of stayed on the on the cutting edge of everything. Even though we, we've got so much growth around us, the, the peach stand is still uh, a very hot spot in and town. And it's very unique. Yes, it it's is. It's one of a it kind. Is. It's it really is. the place to come. It, 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 again, makes Fort Mill so special. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. If you're thinking about moving to our area or just want to see some beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com. But if you want to check out local at its best, come to the Peach Stand. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.